it's Teresa with Crafty with Teresa. Normally I try to do one sheet wonders every so often. Well today we're going to do something different. Today I'm excited I found this series. It's called Show Us Your Sheet Load and it's from Call Me Crafty Owl. You'll see in this video I've used the Sangria paper from You Are Enough packet from Close to My Heart. There are two sets of four cards each. Now, let's get to crafting. So, as you see here, I have all of the paper cut up and ready to go. I will not be going over these measurements in this video. However, I will add in the description box below the links so you can check that out and see if it's something you want to participate in. One of the tips that I have for you on these types of cards when you're making multiple cards like this, one of the things that I have done, as you'll see this here, is I've actually included each one of those sections that are going to go in this card. They actually have a post-it note around them and it'll tell you which section it is so that I can line it up pretty easy. And but here what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just, just putting my ATG tape on my paper some of my art glitter glue that I've actually transferred into a smaller bottle that has a finer tip and I'll line that up. Next I'll take the group that I just put together and I'll add it to the base of the card. This paper is so pretty. I'll grab that next section. Little tip here on the next section you're actually going to dissect the next group of paper and attach it to the sides. I cut them at an angle so that I know. And this will be more important when you, when you put the wording on the second set of cards. Not quite as important here. But they'll line it up that way to the edges, leaving an opening in the middle but not important because it's going to be covered up by the sentiment in the middle by the circle with the scallop. Next I'll add that to the card and grab my scallop circle, put some 3D tape on it, and then attach that to the center of the card. And there you have it. We'll throw some embellishments on that and that card will be done. So I decided I would put a cute little butterfly on the top of the card above the word thanks in this example. And in doing so I realized I needed a little bit of color with it. So I grabbed a small butterfly die cut that I had and I grabbed my picked raspberry. Here is I've just taken my little tool and I've gone around the edges of the butterfly and I went ahead and tapped 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 it lightly to give that to give that butterfly a little bit of that pink color in the middle lightly wasn't sure how that sangria and picked raspberry would go together but I gave it a shot and I think it tied in nicely So I wanted to take a minute to show you a little trick. I use this quite often when I'm doing multiple cards. In the first example, you'll see me using my stamping platform. And in the second example, I'll show you how to do this on your actual mat. The template is the scallop circle, which you'll see in the second set of cards. I'll take my stamping platform. And what I have done is I actually have two or three uses for this template that you see here. But the goal here is I have two uses out of this card base to ensure that the item that I'm stamping is in the center of the card base. Also, I get the luxury of using the luxury of using that as a mat. And you will see that in the second set of cards. I will line up the item, set it in the center of my template and it's easy stamping both in the 
platform using the stamping platform as well as on top of the mat. And last but not least, you could actually have a third use here. You could actually use those centered card bases and create a whole nother set of cards with them, which we will not do in this video. However, I will have upcoming videos that show that technique as well. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you'll see new videos as they come out. Until next time, have a great day.